Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We are out here on a new creek that I haven't recorded yet on a video. I've been out here a few times, but we're same town that I normally do my other creek walking videos, except just on a smaller creek. And uh, this creek, I'm actually going to be going that way, going downstream away from town. This creek goes through the northern part of the town and is in much older territory. I'm talking early 1820s, 1830s, and it even goes behind a house that was built in the late 1700s that uh, that town, or that house is nicknamed uh, the Rock House. And it is the the guy who owned it back then it was the person who started selling lots of land to start building the town. So I'm really hoping to get into some good glass today. I already got a bottle right down here. Uh, it's actually broken. That's newer. Uh, that's really new. That's not even. That's a a beer of some sort. I got another bottle over here. Uh, no, nope, that's just a piece of wood. I think there was one more thing. It's a top to a jar right there. I think that's all right here in this little area. But uh, anyway, I'll get down the creek here soon and uh, let you know when I find something good. Well, guys, I am uh, faced with a problem here. That's about waist high water right there, and I know I'm in waders, but I have holes in these. I wouldn't like to be drenched all the way through, but that is all murky. I that's about as well as I can see in there. You, you are not going to find a bottle in there. I think I'm going to have to pull the plug on this one for today. There's just no movement, and it looks like this creek is always like this. There seems to be no rush at all in the water itself. So it could rain, wash out all this, and probably clear it out, but I really doubt it. We got some rain here recently, but not a lot to do this. I think this creek is just a stagnant, still-moving creek, which is very upsetting. Dang. On the upside of things, oh, what is that? Oh, this piece of meat. Huh. I'll look at that later. There's something else. Oh, never mind. On the upside of things, I did find a railway line. I actually knew that this mound right here was a part of the railway that used to go through here, but I never did take the time to actually come look and examine it. But there are still the original ties still here. Which is really cool. <clears throat> this railway was built just after the Civil War. So it'd be pretty nice to get out in that field and look around for some threadless insulators. But I might walk along up here a little bit more. See what I see. And I think I might have to turn back and head back into the creek that, that's in the main part of town. Because it might be a little bit more clear. I know it would be, and see if I can find anything there, and we'll go from there. So I'll get back to you if I find anything. Point about another 30 feet down the creek, walking the railroad line, and uh, it's still like this, still murky. Can't see the bottom at all. Trash littered throughout. It, this is sad. Really is. Really looking forward to uh, walking this creek today, but it just doesn't look like it's going to happen. I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon, to be honest. I think this creek is going to always be like this. And you can't sit there and say, "Oh, rain will wash that out and clear it up." It. This creek is just still moving. It just barely moves. It's very slow paced. And I think it's always like this. I really do. Because more through town, there are more, uh, I guess you could say, movement. There's not much movement out here, it looks to looks like. 
but when I go down here, it looks like it opens up a little bit more. I'll look at it, see what I see, and uh, more than likely, it'll be turning around and creek walking in town. So I'll let you know if I anything else. Well, guys, I found what was holding all that water up. Big pile up. Uh, that's just crazy. And on the other side, crystal clear water. And that's uh, that's very exciting. And you could even see the uh, original post of the bridge when it went across right here. You could actually look down, someone's built a little trail right down there. That's pretty cool. I'll get down there and see what I can find. I, I'm getting excited now. Alright guys, what looked to be a really dim beginning turned out to be pretty good. I'm going to save what I found in this area to last. I'll show you that a little bit later. But look at all these early pieces of glass. I mean, they are everywhere. Uh, it went from me almost turning around to... Uh, a gold mine. I think that's all the pieces besides the last one. So I came down here. That's the bridge over there. Came right over here. Walked down. Seen that. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. It's broken. It's very sad. Especially for what it would have been. That, ladies and gentlemen, that would have been a hutch. It would have been, uh, oh, I've seen that hutch before. That would have been a city bottling works from Indianapolis, I believe. Let's wash it off. Yep, city bottling works. Oh, Toledo, Ohio. Wow. So, not a local one. But still, that is the biggest hutch piece I've ever found, and I've never found a hutch hole before, ever. Uh, I have about 10 hutches in my collection, and all of them I bought from antique shows and bottle shows. So that really excites me. I'm more than likely going to be taking that home just to say I found it. That is a very good start, and that really makes me excited for what else is in here. Local or not, I would have been absolutely excited to find that hole. i keep the camera rolling here. We might find something up here in the brushes. That is an amazing find. Oh my gosh. That almost makes the whole dang day worth it just coming down here. Doesn't look to be like there's anything else around here. So I'm going to shut up and get to looking. I'll get back to you if I find anything else. Well, I was uh, looking around here and I found something pretty interesting. It's not a bottle, but check this out. Now you may be thinking what the hell that is. I know exactly what that is. That would have been the brake pad off of a train or a freight car. Now it's snapped at the half, or the half, it's snapped in half at the top, but that's exactly what that would have been, and it is heavy, heavy, and we're literally 50 feet, if that, from the uh, bridge, so that's just awesome. I might bring that out with me, I don't know. I forgot my stupid backpack again, not on purpose, this is a complete accident because I was rushing over here. Looks like there's 711 right there. Oh man, I wish I could get a date off of this, that would be so cool. Yeah, no writing on it I think besides that possible number pattern right there. Well, I'll leave this right here on the side. I'm going to get back to looking. Well, I have not found nothing but pieces of glass after that hutch. 
but I'm still excited, still trying to uh, keep my uh, composure, if you will, uh, to try to find some stuff. But there is pieces, though. That's a more modern piece. Uh, where's the other one I saw? That's a crown top. But there are pieces. Smaller creeks always act different. Normally when you're walking a big creek like I usually do, um, you find lots of glass more. In this creek there's nothing but a few spots of rocks and clay. The majority of the bottom of this creek is made out of clay, which is really odd. Never walked a creek like that before. But if there is a hutch, most of a hutch complete that I have found in here, I'm gonna walk it. Um, it's crazy. I wouldn't even be halfway near where I'd be at right now in the other creek. The bigger creek takes longer, it's bigger, takes more time to search. And this creek, I'm almost. Uh, I'd say another 10-15 minutes and I'll be connecting with the bigger creek because this creek walks into the other creek that I usually walk which is crazy but this one doesn't bend around as much as the bigger creeks do and it takes less time to search literally I could just sit here and scan left to right I'll have to look way over at the other side but I am hoping I can at least pull one bottle out. And I really hope it's a hutch. That's a rock. The other thing is this creek is covered in moss at the bottom, which is odd. Makes it kind of hard to tell whether a bottle is a bottle and a rock's a rock. It's hard to tell the two uh, apart, but. I'm going to get down here a little bit farther, and uh, hopefully we will find some more bottles. It uh, really looks like the sandbars are the only thing that's really producing much glass. The main body of the creek really doesn't have much glass. It's mainly the sandbars. Yeah, look at that, you got a Pat D hobble skirt. I don't think I've really seen anything as old as that hutch, which is really weird. But on a other note, when I was walking the end of the sandbar, I heard something splashing in the water down there, and it was a uh, it was a deer about right down to where that tree is across the water, and he started running back there. He's long gone. He heard me, but it's pretty cool kind of spooked me at first because I didn't know what was making all the ruckus down there but we'll head down that way and we shouldn't be too far away from the other creek that this creek runs into so let you know when we get there all well, here again on another little sandbar type area got the most intact bottle besides the uh, hutch but it's broken so I'm pulling it anyway and it looks like it would have been modern. Clean it off a little bit more, see if we're gonna get any embossing. Nope. And there's a machine made, more than likely modern. That sucks. Toss that up there. There's another piece over here. Just a mason jar piece. Not really going to be throwing any of the pieces up on the bank as much as I usually do because I bet I'm the first person who's walked this creek and there's the deer. I don't know if you guys saw him, but he was right up there and he ran across. I'm literally out in the middle of two fields, so there's probably not much human activity out here. They're just going to be waiting for me to get the heck out of here. I'll, uh, I'll let the camera roll a little bit more, see if he's up here. I 
I doubt it. I bet he's run off. Yep. All right. Well, I'll get back to you if I find anything else. Hopefully, the next time I turn on this camera, we got a whole bottle. I'll get back to you when we do. So, uh, this is crazy. I've seen more wildlife walking this creek than I have the bigger creek. I don't know if you can see, he's just about to get covered by that, uh, all that dirt, but there's a gar right here. I don't know where he went. He's literally confined to this just one little area right here. He can't get up there, and he can't get past there. That's crazy. There he is. Right there. I think that's him. Oh, yeah, my foot just touched him. Oh, yep, yeah, foot just touched him again. That's insane. He's probably at least four feet long. I mean, that's just insane. I've never... So there he is, right down there again. I'd really like to grab him. Honestly, that'd be so cool. You guys want to see some fish wrangling right here? Oh, he's a moving. He's a quick son of a gun. I said, oh, oh, just bumped him again. That's insane. <laughs> I've seen more wildlife walking the smaller creek than I have that big creek. There he is again. Content. When you can't find bottles, just record the animal life. I really tempted to try to catch him. He's trying to stick right there in that faster water. Probably to breathe better. I want to try to catch him. <laughs> and just get him on shore to look at him. And then put him right back. I, I wouldn't try to harm him or anything. Poor guy. He probably, honestly, I bet. I bet. That he swum up. Because just around this bend, a little bit longer. Not too long. Uh, this creek runs into Indian Creek, like I've said. I bet he probably swum up this creek when the water was high enough. Because why would that big of a fish be in this small of a creek? Alright, here he is again. Let's see if I can grab by the towel. Oh, I touched him. He's not even moving. This is crazy, guys. I'm literally petting him right now. Oh, man, I could have got him. There he goes. Look at that. 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 <laughs> oh my gosh. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Oh my gosh. If I get him up on shore, I'll uh, make sure to record. Because, oh, he's all the way down there. Oh, no, he's going to try to escape. Oh, no. Oh, no, he got back. <laughs> all right. I'm going to try to get him again. All right, I definitely had to have two hands for this guy. I got him out, got him over here in the stream. Look at that. Oh, man. That is insane. Went bottle hunting. 
Got a gar. I mean, he is ferocious. He's got a lot of energy in him. I can imagine hauling one out. Oh, look at that. That's so cool. I can Oh, jeez. He just whacked me. <laughs> he just whacked the camera. <laughs> That's crazy. I can imagine uh, handling one of these at 20 feet long. I mean, they hit you with that snout, and I totally forgot about that. And they, they can knock you out at that size at 20 feet long. That's pretty cool. I'm also going to get some pictures and release them back into the bigger stream. No, I'm going to be faced up. Jeez. People are going to think animal cruelty here. But I'll get them back over here and uh, let them be himself but i'll get back to you if i find anything else all right just to give you clarification he he's all right he's right there probably gonna move him upstream up there when i uh go come back but uh just so i don't get heckled in the comments i said that was about three to four foot long gar that wasn't i mean it was just an estimate from a distance when i first saw him He's probably a foot or two long. But anyway, on the upside, if I wasn't messing with fish, I would have seen this. Another hutch piece. That's two hutch pieces for the day. And it says, Bodler something. I can't make out the name. M-A-R-T-N. Indiana. Oh, Martinsville, man. Wow. That would have been a Martinsville hutch. Crazy. So I probably would have set up uh, up top Martinsville bottling works, or bottlers, Martinsville, Indiana. I have to look that up. I don't think I've ever seen a hutch come out of Martinsville. There probably are some, but uh, uh, not to my knowledge off the top of my head have I seen any. That makes me excited. Uh, hopefully we can find some more stuff down here. And I will get back to you when we find something else. Well guys, this is what we found today. I think it was a really good hunt. I now know that there are hutches in that creek. I don't look at this as broken glass i look at it as opportunity because i now know that there are hutches in that creek and there are some nice older ones for sure the first one right off the bat got the city bottling works toledo ohio and then this one over here is a bottlers from martinsville indiana that could be rare and if it is regardless of if it is rare or not i'll definitely still be going back to that creek every rain now and the other big creek too what's very funny is i've been walking that big creek for two years the one creek that i usually do my creek videos and i have never even found a piece of a hutch they're in there i they have to be i've pulled out meds from the 1870s and 1880s and i know of another bottle digger collector who lives in the same town there and he's pulled out a chemical bottle from the 1830s which is about the time where the town was founded so that's just insane but at the end of the video you got to see the gar there too that was pretty cool uh he's still down there chilling i just left him alone he'll hopefully get some rain going there soon and he can get back into the bigger uh, body of water that just absolutely blows my mind. I've also walked the other creek, the other bigger creek. I have never seen a gar in there before, ever. Mainly it's probably because they normally tend to stick to the deeper spots. Maybe that gar headed up that smaller stream to maybe lay eggs or something. I don't know if they do that. And when the water retreated, he could have been trapped. And so he's just trying to weighed it out but i thought it was pretty cool nonetheless but if you guys enjoyed please drop a like and a comment and please consider subscribing we'll see you in the next video thanks so much for watching